Hi guys, this is Krivili again with another product review. Um, today we are looking at a fountain pen, which is the Namiso Orion. And uh, the Namiso Orion has essentially grown out of a Kickstarter campaign. Uh, maybe this is the pen and we'll look at the pen in detail in a bit. Maybe just some introductory remarks in advance. The Orion I have, what I hold in my hands here is the uh, stonewashed titanium version of the pen, but it's also available in uh, sandblasted titanium that then looks slightly different. You can look that up and uh, on, on the website namiso.com. Um, and it also does come in a aluminium aluminium version, uh, definitely in black. Um, I'm not sure if they also have it in a silver aluminium, but uh, you can also check that up uh, on the website. And then what's also super interesting about that pen, uh, and, and uh, so this is the packaging of the pen that we look at in a second, and this is a nib packaging. I got a spare nib, an extra nib. The nice thing about this pen is that it's available with uh, titanium nibs. I mean, titanium nibs are super interesting. I'll show you uh, show show you that one in a minute as well. But uh, it looks especially cool uh, when you got a titanium nib on a titanium pen because it it just looks kind of stealthy. So um, uh, to 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 conclude the introduction, uh, that pen here normally costs around uh, sixty or seventy pounds that is british pounds because they sit in the uk you can convert that to euro or dollars if you like uh, right now it's on sale at the time of shooting this review it's a bit cheaper i think around 60 bucks and and uh, then the sandblasted titanium is a bit is a bit more expensive but you can also get the uh, aluminium orion for around 40 pounds uh that includes um a steel nib it's bock nips, number six bock nips that are uh, on this pen. So the price includes the steel nib option. Uh, steel nips are available in extra fine, medium and broad. And uh, if you add, I mean, the titanium is slightly more expensive, but it might be worth it. You you, you got to decide that for yourself. Uh, the titanium nib will add around 30 bucks uh on the price of the pen, which then makes that one here around 85, 90 pounds. Um, and titanium is available in extra fine and medium. So um, before we jump into the pen, let's have a look at the packaging. So it comes in a cardboard, uh, I mean, it comes in a cardboard box that is wrapped by a sleeve here. Um, so I got the titanium, it says deluxe, probably because it has a medium titanium nib that I got it with. And then I got an extra fine steel nib as an add-on because I wanted to try both of them. Um, the steel nib is mounted at the moment onto the pen. Uh, that's the nib that you see right here. We look at that in detail also in a bit because I sort of find, I'm a lefty and uh, steel extra fine, it's, it's a juicy extra fine, suits me very well. I find the titanium medium a bit too juicy and too wet for me. It's a pretty ink thirsty pen and lays, uh, nib and lays down a lot of ink. So to me, it's too much. I'll show you that in the writing sample, um, but it is the, the titanium is a, is a pleasant nib, no doubt. So um, when you open that uh, that wrapper, um, the, you have a black cardboard box that says Namisu. It's very nice. looks looks very minimalist, uh, like the whole design of the pen. It's a very pretty box. You can like just like take that that little thing here out, and out comes a sort of satinish inlay in which the pen was laying and then it came with a very nice very useful schmidt converter as well which you would expect for that price point is great you get another converter and uh, i'll have uh, i have another converter in the pen at the moment but um that schmidt converter is the one that the pen came with so that's that um and uh, then here we have the extra nib, but I'll show you that nib that is also wrapped in a similar uh, packaging. Very nice. Um, packed into that, I'll show you the nib then when we jump into the writing sample. So let's have a look at the pen itself. The pen itself, of course, because it's titanium, uh, is, is a rather heavy pen, weighs around, weighs around uh, 40 grams. Uh, so that is uh, pretty heavy, I would say. It's definitely heavier than your average, I don't know, Lamy All-Star even or something like that. Um, 
It's a clipless pen design. Um, there's no clip on the pen, which makes it also, it's a rather large pen, I'll do a size comparison in a bit, uh, makes it a, a very nice pocket pen, like you can just slide it into your pocket because there's no clip or whatever. You can't really keep it in your shirt pocket because for that it will probably be too heavy, um, but it's great for your jeans pocket because no clip and very sturdy um, a very sturdy design and machining. The, the pen is machined from one solid piece of titanium. Um, it's awesome, it's awesome manufacturing, awesome machining. It, it has a sort of a, a cigar shape or whatever, but then it because like it's thicker in the middle and tapers down towards both ends, has some grooves here, which then are the, the grip section where, that, where, where you have a grip, so that makes it also a slightly wider grip. And then on both sides, uh, it sorts capped off here, um, looking, like that so it looks essentially the same on both sides of the pen apart from this groove section here the titanium is like gray brownish it's stone washed and um, this stone washing uh, is sort of inspired from the japanese principle of wabi sabi which finds beauty in imperfection so you see all these tiny 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 bumps in here and scratches that are coming from the stone washing, which sort of um, make the pen look a little bit imperfect, not highly polished, highly glossy, gives it sort of a little bit of an industrial, industrial minimalist look. And I really appreciate this very, very minimalist look of the pen. Uh, it certainly looks different than your average fountain pen. So if you have that pen on a table, you'll recognize it straight away and you're like, oh, what's that? I mean, that's that's certainly a totally a totally different pen than what you're normally used to. Um, it's machined perfectly. It has a very tiny clip. Uh, I, can't, I, I couldn't really detect the inner cap in that clip. Normally fountain pens have these like inner plastic, uh, plastic, inner plastic caps in the, in the, in, in the cap that uh, sort of prevents the nib from drying out. I couldn't detect such a cap in here, but to my surprise, um, even if you put the pen down for like a week or so, and I've had that pen in use for a couple of weeks now, if you put it down for a week or a couple of days, you just unscrew the pen and it just starts writing. So um, the cap does a pretty good job in um, preventing the nib from drying out. The pen is designed not to be posted. I mean, you could sort of like force that cap onto the pen's back. And if you wheel, wiggle around a little bit or wheel the pen, it won't come off, but um, essentially, the pen is not designed to be posted and uh, it's a fairly long pen. Let's do a size comparison straight away that we talk about it right now. You don't really have to post the pen. Um, let me take Alami All-Star uh, as a comparison here. So the pen is slightly longer than an All-Star when it's capped. Uh, when you uncap the pen... Let's see. It's still about the same length. Um, it's slightly longer than uh, the, the, the Orion is slightly longer than the All Star. And then, well, I mean, just for you to see the pens posted, but I mean, the posting really doesn't make any sense because you shouldn't post that um, uh, Orion. So, anyway, I think it's fair to say that uh, the Orion is rolling out of the picture here. Let's bring it back. Uh, I think it's fair to say uh, that it's about the same length than a Lamy All-Star. And if you're comfortable with the Lamy All-Star, you'll be comfortable with that one, that one as well. Um, you can then unscrew the barrel right here. And uh, you see the threading here. That one here has a, I've put a, I think it's a Jin Hao converter or whatever I had laying around. Uh, it's inked with Roran Klingner, uh, Roran Klingner Alt Goldgrün at the moment. Um, you also see the precise machining of the threads here. I mean, that small N here, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if the camera can, yeah, you see it here. That small N is actually the only branding that you have on the pen, this N for Namisu. Now you can see it. you can see it. yeah now you can see it a bit better um yeah so that's the only branding that the pen has um which makes it even more minimalistic i mean like i find it's really cool um the front section is definitely heavier than the back section however 
I don't know. I mean, like it's a very well balanced pen. I mean, when you put it together, like the 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 the, the weight distribution center definitely lays somewhere here where you were actually holding the pen. Um, also aluminum, uh, titanium body, of course, here, not aluminum, titanium body here. And I mean, awesome machining, great machining. I mean, when you threw that here back together, that fits like really, really super tight. It feels really quality. You definitely see that this is precision work. I mean, I really like how, the way how that comes together here and the uh, same applies to that one. Yeah, I mean, like it feels, it's not super smooth. You, you've definitely feel the, the metal on metal. So it, it, it does feel a bit industrial, but I sort of like that. All right. Um, so let's have a look at that nib here. That one here. Look at that beautiful Rohan Klinger Alt Gold Grün on this Bock nib. This here is an extra fine Bock nib. Just looks like the normal Bock nibs do. Says Bock, has the Bock logo on top. Some uh, ornaments on there, a number six nib, large number six feet that keeps up with the writing very well, keeps up with the ink flow very well. It's really a nice nib. I do love this nib, I have to say. This extra fine nib is, I, I'll, I'll do a writing sample now. And this nib, um, I mean, the titanium nib that I'll show you uh, uh, as well, also has a lot of. It's not a flex, but like definitely semi-flex. Has a lot of springiness and flexiness to it. Um, but also this extra fine nib here is very springy, very soft. I mean, it feels, it feels, it it gives you feedback when you write with it. It feels definitely a little bit like a nail, but then it's very springy. So I I, I just love the way that um, how this nib writes. So uh, I'd suggest uh, from that we we just jump into a writing sample. Uh, and I'll take a little bit more time with that to really show you how the nibs write and uh, then it will also maybe take me time because I'll live swap the nib to the titanium nib so it might take me a little time to saturate um, the feed actually. Let me have a look at my notes quick to see if I was something else that I wanted to talk about. I don't think so. So yeah, let's jump into the writing sample. I'll zoom in a little bit on the paper for that one like this maybe and uh we'll see how we can go here so um this is the and you see i had the pen uncapped for a while right now but it comes up straight away namisu of course the namisu uh, let's see that's a little bit of problem with the light here namisu Orion and uh, TI, Titanium. And uh, excuse my handwriting, a bit difficult with the light here right now um, because I do that in natural daylight. And um, th this here is the Bock Steel. Or maybe it's better if I, if I overwrite a little bit. Extra fine nib. So, I mean, as to the wetness of the nib, maybe first. I mean, Rohr and Klingner Alt Gold Grün is a medium wet ink, so let's have a look at that. It's a pretty, a pretty wet nib, I think. Yeah, you see that? The nib is pretty wet. Nice springiness, and you see the springiness now when I show you, when I try to show you the uh, the, the line variation that it provides. So you really get from an extra fine like this, and if you apply a little bit more pressure, you see the tines coming coming apart you see that and if I apply a little and you see the ink pooling here and if I apply a little bit more pressure I mean you definitely get a good amount of semi flex here uh, I think for a for a steel nib uh, for a steel nib this is rather spectacular I've not seen I've never seen a, a steel nib where I get that much flex out of it I mean um, this is really, um, this really, uh, this is really a wonderful writer. I really like that as I like the shading in the alt gold green. Well, so um, that's that with the extra fine nib. Um, so now let's zoom out for a bit and I'll now need a little bit of paper here. Didn't prepare that. Swap the nibs out because I do here have uh, the titanium nib here. So um, just take the pen apart, take out that converter here. 
I'll take out the nib. So you see that here, that's the aggregate. That's the extra fine bulk. Put that aside. We take out the titanium one. Uh, essentially looks the same, just, I mean, titanium-ish. Can compare them here. See that? Less, less shiny and also does say Titan here, down there. You can see that it says Titan. Yeah, Bok Titan. Um, that is medium now, so screw that one into the section here. Put the converter back in. Prime the feed a little so that it won't take too much time. Ink was coming. Screw that thing back together here and see if the pen writes. Now that can take a little bit. Ah, it's already coming. And you already see the ink being much darker here with the writing. I zoom back in. Let me try to write up here so that you uh, that you see a direct comparison. So that is the medium now, or Rion Ti, right? You see the ink, um, it, it, it already looks different. It already, so that the titanium puts down more ink. It does put down uh, um, more ink. And uh, when it comes to line variation here, it's definitely, this is without any pressure. Now I apply a little more pressure. You see that springiness, that semi-flex, and now I apply something like a lot of pressure. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, you can you can push that nib to the extent that you even get some railroading here, right? I mean, yeah, you see the railroading here. If you over if you overdo it, you get railroading. But I mean, you see how I mean that's almost a flex, isn't it? I mean, that is amazing. Um, wonderful, juicy writing with that uh, with that titanium nib. For me, as a lefty personally, I have to be a bit careful because it is very juicy. Uh, you can see that ink that it puts down here with the shading and all that. It is very juicy. It, it is uh, super super wet. It's very ink thirsty. Makes it hard for me to write because of the drying times of the ink and all that. But I think as a as a righty probably, or if I underwrite, I use the ink when I when I uh, the nib when I when I underwrite, um, it's all right. Then I can definitely use it. And you already you see um, you can see the difference in in line variation here, right? This is um, the extra fine steel, and this is the medium titanium. So uh, I find that titanium is definitely a very very interesting uh, nib option. All right, um, that's that with that. Uh, with that pen review for today it was slightly longer today because of um, yeah the pen really being interesting and 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 the different nib options uh, that we had here yeah so that was that with the uh, Namisu Orion I hope you enjoyed the review I hope it was helpful and as always I'll see you at the next review bye bye.